Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. We have here a Ford Mondeo to look at. Okay, inside this car we have engine malfunction, engine management lights on. Now I do know this car has got a DPF issue, but I don't know exactly what just yet. Um, been told it's a DPF problem by the customer, and that's why he's booked in here to see me. So we're going to set up our diagnostic machine here. We're going to run a scan, see what fault codes we have, and see exactly what we need to do to fix the problem. Ford Mondeo, could be the usual suspects, vaporizer, boost leak. Um, normally that's around it. We're going to use this tool again. Think scan 689BT. I'll put the link in the video description where you can buy this tool from. Um, why, let me see, what are we looking at? Automatic search. Should just find it on its own. There we go. Mondeo 2011. It's an older one, this. Run a health report. So the scan tool itself, this one, I'll put a, like I said, a link in the video description in there. 10% uh, discount code, Jimmy O'Reilly. If they haven't already got a sale on that is, that works. I think it's under £500, this tool, and it doesn't have any charges for updates on the software, so it's free updates for life. I'm going to run through the scan now, see what we're looking at with this car. Okay, so here's the fault codes we have. Particle filter restriction, P246C, P165B, grill shutter, A performance. Vehicle condition incorrect for regeneration, and v particulate filter soot accumulation, P2463, and again that one, P24A4. Okay, so it looks like, according to this, we have a blocked EPF, and the vehicle conditions are not correct for the car to regen on its own, which is going to be this fault right here, P165B07-2F. So we're going to need to have a look at that grill shutter. In Basically, down in the grill we have little um, shutters that sort of close over and open according to the temperature of the car. Open to cool the car down and it will close during cold, cold morning so the car will warm up quicker. If it gives a circuit error like it's doing here, um, then we will have the self-regeneration process of the car disabled. Once you've then driven a few hundred miles or so, you've got soot accumulation and you've got a blocked DPF. So we're going to go to data stream. Look at the IFF differential pressure. Uh, soot, which is going to be calculated. Click on that. 300% blocked. Uh, let's see if we go to metric and we go to HPA, we have 100. So that looks a little bit strange to me. When you see an even number 100, let's give it a rev, see does it move. see this only goes up in sort of 10 increments I'm not sure why it said it was on 100 there but usually you just give them a little tap of the rev it wakes it up okay so we have a block DPF we have 347% on the closed loop block DPF now we need to look at this grill I don't know if we've got information on the life data regarding the grill but let's have a look so the grill shutter is closed, commanded closed, grill shutter position 0%, grill shutter movement counter, let's have a look, where's the on and off, I don't know if that does anything when we turn the engine on and off. So now it says we're open. Now it says we're varying. Let's have a look if it's actually doing anything like that. I can see one side is closed. The 
and one side is sort of partially open you can see there that side over there is closed and this side is partially open so you can see we've got an issue there let's see if we can do a command actuation test Yeah, that's not supported. Let's try this one. Open. Close on. Right, that's not working. We can see there's an issue. We're going to have to get the car up and have a look at what's going on. And it is raining again. Beautiful weather in the UK as usual. So we're going to have to get this vehicle up on uh, on some ramps. Usually they can have corrosion around the plugs, um, or we could just have a broken grill shutter. Um, either way, we're going to see if we can sort of get it to not register as a fault, basically, so the car is able to do its own regen. And if we can do that, then we will clean the DPF, and hopefully we should have a working car after that. We will also check the vaporizer. If the DPF has been disblocked and it's been driven around for a long time like this, the vaporizer will also now be blocked because you're getting soot come down pass, it will back up into the vaporizer and it will block it. Okay, I'm gonna turn the car off, turn it back on. Now it's come off again. So basically I'll just show you what I found under there is one side over here, the bracket that joins them all together is, has come off. And there is a sensor over here so if this side of the valve doesn't open you will log up a fault okay so you can see there where they're all sort of joined together and again look it's popped off on this side it's popped off i have clipped it back on but it keeps coming off Start it up. So that's the part there, basically. These bits are just worn away, so it's it's just popping out. That holds all of the um, what do we call them? Flaps together, but obviously it's just popping off. You can see the motor is working because they're opening and closing. Okay, so basically now this car is pointless me doing a DPF clean on it. This is broken. The little joints in there, they're worn away, it's plastic. So it needs a new one. Um, it might even need the whole new system put on it. Depends on if we can get a hold of just this, fit it back on and it works, then fair enough. But yeah, I can see this is worn. See the little, it's hard to show you, but they're sort of worn away, the little joints in them. Um, if if we clean the DPF it will get blocked again unless this gets fixed so I can't get a part for that today we're just gonna finish the video up as a as a diagnostic and yeah I mean well, I'll give the customer a choice I can either clean it now and he, when he gets home he's come from two hours away when he gets home he could get his local guards to fix this but basically his local guard doesn't want anything to do with the DPF because they don't know how to diagnose or fix it but we've diagnosed this is the problem this is what needs fixing you can either clean the DPF now or clean it once you've got this fixed, but if you clean it now, it needs fixing immediately, otherwise it will block again. See you on our next video.